Hi everybody, in this video we're going to go over some rhythms. These are rhythms that everybody uses from kindergarten, and I start introducing the names in pre-K, all the way up to middle school. So the purpose of this video is just to review names and how to say and count them. If you are in fourth or fifth grade or higher, you may want to skip ahead and I'll leave the timestamp in the comment section below so you can go to the part of the video that's more applicable to older students. But this is for everybody. So we're gonna start with the main ones that I use in class just the names, what they look like, stuff like that. So this is a quarter note. If you're in the younger grades, you probably know it as ta. So I like to say quarter note is its full name. Ta is its nickname. It gets one beat. So it fits on one sheet of paper like this. This zigzaggy thing is a quarter rest. It also gets one beat. So quarter rest is its full name. Shh in the younger grades is what we say for its nickname. So it still gets a beat even though it's quiet. It just gets a beat of silence. Now here are the ones the younger kids really like. These are two eighth notes, so a pair of eighth notes. If you are in the younger grades, you know it is TT. As we get a little bit older, the two eighth notes together, you would say one and. We'll get to that a little bit later. And the last one for today, four sixteenth notes all connected, but there are four of them. This whole thing gets one beat. Four sixteenth notes, that's its full name. If you're in the younger grades, you probably remember it as tiki tiki. Four sounds, one for each note. So let's figure out what we can do with these things. All of them that I showed you just now, these are all worth one beat. This is worth one beat. This is worth one beat. This is worth one beat. And this is worth one beat. Now, how is that possible? Well, it's just breaking up that beat into different pieces. Think of it like a pizza or sometimes even like money. This is a dollar. This is a dollar. This is still a dollar, but it's like me having 50 cents and 50 cents. And this is still like having a dollar, but it's like having four quarters, four 25 cent pieces. So what do we do with this stuff? So I have a simplified time signature on this side. Our time signature just tells us how many beats we can fit into one chunk of the music, also known as a measure. So right now on this whiteboard, I have one measure. I can have four quarter notes or four beats in one measure, according to my time signature right here. So if I have four quarter notes and I'm in kindergarten, I probably read it as ta, 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 ta. If I have something different, we're going to draw a new rhythm on our whiteboard. So remember that I said that TT still gets a beat. So now I still have four beats. It just sounds different and looks different. If you're in first grade or kindergarten, you probably know it as T T T T T T T T. Now here's where it comes in for the older kids. We try to always have ta and TT, those syllables in the back of our head because I know they help me. When I'm working it out on my own and looking at a new rhythm, it is a helpful tool, but it's also helpful to know how to use numbers. 
So when you have quarter notes, like the four quarter notes we had before, we would just count them. One, two, three, four. But when we have these eighth notes, there's all these dots, all of these little eighth notes that need to be counted. So this is how we do it. We can say TT like I did before, or we assign them numbers and signals like this. So I can say T T T T T T T T, or if I'm a little bit older, a little bit more experienced, I might be able to say one and two and three and four and two different ways to count it, but it ends up being the same sound. No matter which way I do it with TTs or with numbers, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and. Or T, 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 T. The clapping, the rhythm is still the same. Check out part two to work on mixing all of these up and for counting 16th notes.